So thank you so much, Alicia. I'm Nora and I am with Travel Leaders and I'm introducing Alicia from Celebrity Cruises who's gonna to talk to us about getting back to getting back to cruising. We're all looking forward to it. So thank you all for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and I'll be sure to ask Alicia, um, but I'll turn it over to you, Alicia. Thanks again for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Nora. And thank you everybody for joining us here today. We really appreciate you taking the time to learn a little bit more ce about celebrity. Um, I know I am not alone when I say, hashtag we can't wait to get back to sailing, back in the water. Those step towards normalcy will feel so nice as we um, head out into the water here soon. Um, as of right now, we are really excited to be um, heading back January 1st. So, um, you know, keep in touch with your travel leaders agent. They will keep you posted on any changes or updates that we have to our service schedule. Um, but until then, we sure can dream about a wonderful new luxury that awaits you out in the open water with Celebrity Cruises. And nothing showcases new luxury better than our brand new ships, the Celebrity Edge and the Celebrity Apex. The Celebrity Edge we took delivery of just a couple years ago. She's been sailing seven night uh, Caribbean itineraries and then heading over into the Mediterranean in Europe in the summer. Um, she's back now preparing for our winter season along with her sister ship, the Celebrity Apex. Apex we took delivery of um, in the middle of the pandemic. So she's actually not had any guest sailing on her yet, but she is preparing for her Caribbean season coming up here as well. Some key features that make this ship really unique are just the overall decor, um, spaciousness and design. The design elements are amazing on this ship. It actually, there are a few opportunities that we are bringing you to the edge of the ship. So hence the name Edge Class and the Celebrity Edge. So let's take a peek at a few of the venues that make these ships extra special. So as I alluded to, we've got innovative outward facing spaces and they really make the best views while you are sailing with us at sea. So here is a beautiful photo of an indoor area we have called Eden. It's an indoor terrarium kind of, three stories tall, floor to ceiling glass windows, spacious, green, and overall vibrant. It's a wonderful place to uh, grab the people that you're traveling with, um, a quick bite from the cafe, or maybe just evaluate uh, which shore excursion you'd like to do next. So uh, here's just one of the many spaces that make Edge and Apex so special. We've also got revolutionary staterooms to connect you with the sea. Here is a peek at the iconic suite, um, which is also the stateroom I am in, as you can see. There's beautiful floor to ceiling glass windows in here as well. A very spacious and beautifully decorated interior. And this particular stateroom is the best in any category. It's right above the bridge, which is where the captain sits. So um, the best view in the house, even better than the captain, if you can believe it. So um, wonderful, wonderful revolutionary staterooms. So that iconic suite is within an area that we call the retreat. So the retreat is exclusive uh, to all of our suites category guests. The retreat is all suites, all exclusive and all included. Um, this is a beautiful small ship experience aboard our midship, so to speak. So each and every suite category um, has access to a beautiful lounge space, uh, a beautiful restaurant called Lumine for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then a beautiful sun deck. Um, so your own private venue to uh, have that open air breeze, uh, maybe enjoy a soak in a hot tub or just lay out in the sun on a lawn chair. And I know here in Minnesota, we sure could use a little sunshine about now. Um, it's timely snow at least, but would be nice to have a little sunshine here too. Um, it's also important to note when you are sailing on the retreat, you receive all the perks included with your package. So you receive a premium high-speed beverage package, high-speed internet, your gratuities are covered, and then an extra onboard credit is available too. And that um, you can spend toward shore excursions, spa treatments, whatever it is your heart desires on the ship. Here's another peek at those exclusive venues once again. These are just for suites class guests as part of the retreat experience. 
So we've got the lounge in the upper left, the sun deck in the upper right, Lumine, that specialty restaurant in the lower left, and then you can get another feel for a celebrity suite, which is um, one of our smaller suites, but as you can see, it's still very spacious, very luxe decor, um, just an overall wonderful experience at sea. So when looking at the retreat and comparing us to um, a luxury cruise ship experience, we meet all the marks at every turn. So private verandas, multiple dining venues, um, and we've got the added entertainment of being a mid-sized ship, which is really compelling. So live production shows, a vibrant martini bar, um, and then wonderful shops as well. So a really across the board, luxurious experience in and out of the retreat. Oh, here we go. Um, so another wonderful stateroom category we have on the edge and apex is the edge stateroom with infinite veranda. So the infinite veranda is a really unique um, element. We are actually the first ocean cruise line to feature these types of verandas. It's a full wall of window. So taking you to the edge of the ship and um, it is fully operable as well. So you can get that sea breeze but also that veranda feel if you prefer. So I'll show you a quick video that'll give you an idea of how exactly these staterooms work. You can see we're coming in, looking toward the back. We're gonna take a quick spin around the cabin. Beautiful decor, as you can see. There are bifold doors that come in and out of the walls. So if you do want that partition veranda, it is available. Though if you do want the open breeze, you can just turn down the operable window and stare off into the sunset as you sail. You can see the bathroom also is beautifully decorated, um, very spacious and a, a nice element that we've added in is an extra outlet in the bathroom. I think that's a, a great piece that a lot of ships actually do not feature. Um, but if you're using a hairdryer or a straightener or a curling iron, it's wonderful to have that access. So just a, a small plug there for how thoughtfully designed these staterooms were. Okay, so the staterooms are all beautiful, but the added venues of a cruise ship is really what make it extra special, right? All the extra entertainment, the things that you get to do while you are sailing and seeing beautiful destinations. So on Celebrity, for each and every ship, we have an area called the Solarium. The Solarium is an enclosed indoor pool area, so it's the perfect temperature every time. You can see lots of lounge chairs um, spaced around, there's a hot tub, um, an aqua spa cafe featuring those really wellness minded um, snacks and drinks as well. And you can see it's also very spacious. So ample room to spread out, relax, and just overall enjoy a really serene experience at sea. The main pool, so this particular picture is taken from the Celebrity Edge. Apex would feature a similar look, but we've got a full lap size pool on the top deck, as well as a wonderful entertainment stage poolside, and then an, a beautiful elevated hot tub shaped kind of like a martini glass. So you can have a, a wonderful view while you're soaking in the hot tub as well. Um, these butterfly wings are for you social media lovers. It's a wonderful Instagrammable photo op standing in front of it. It's a great way to brag about having a fabulous adventure on the Celebrity Cruise Ship. The Rooftop Garden is another wonderful venue outdoors. So the open air is certainly really nice and certainly an important element in the here and now as well. Um, you can see lots of spacious seating available. There is a cafe available up here as well. And if you look toward the back, you see that big screen with all the blue flowers. It's a large uh, theater style screen. So we actually have outdoor movie viewings, um, concerts and all kinds of wonderful things out here in the open air. So um, another really great area of the ship to enjoy while you are, are out at sea here too. And I would say if Celebrity had a niche, if we had a thing, I would call us the foodie cruise line. We have a wonderful culinary program curated by two Michelin star chefs. Um, so everything is prepared from scratch in our kitchens, fresh, 
uh, available ready when you are ready to order it. So we locally source these ingredients as well. So not only are you getting a freshly prepared, amazing dish, it's also something of the destination that you're traveling to. So for example, you might find jerk chicken on a menu um, where we are traveling into Jamaica, or you might see um, a, a beautiful Greek salad as we sail into Greece as well. Uh, we definitely love to do, um, you know, chorizo while we're in Argentina um, and other similar dishes that are of the destination. I think it's important to note too, we offer a variety when it comes to dining times. So if you do love having that preset dining time, we've got six o'clock or 8.30 available. Or if you're a person like myself who you know wants to dine when you want to dine, we also have celebrity select dining, which allows you to dine whenever you are ready and, and anxious to have dinner. Okay. So another beautiful vessel that we've uh, just taken delivery of in the last couple of years is the Celebrity Flora. Flora is a small yacht. Uh, she is actually only 99 passengers and she is all suites and also all included. So it's a really extraordinary opportunity. This small ship sails exclusively in the Galapagos Islands. So definitely a wonderful bucket list destination as well. Um, this ship, it features seven night itineraries around the Galapagos in total luxury. So um, as I mentioned, all the beautiful suites and this right photo, right side photo that you see here is actually a look at our glamping opportunity on Flora as well. So for those of you who have not heard of glamping, it is glamorous camping. So what we do is offer um, an evening to sleep under the stars paired with a delicious breakfast at sunrise, um, and, but then also a beautiful dinner under the stars the evening prior to. So a really immersive, unique experience as we sail into the Galapagos. So digging into the Galapagos a little bit more, I think this is such a great destination to feature. Um, it is a year round program that we operate. Seven night sailings are the bulk of the program, though we do offer pre and post day opportunities as well. So the seven night itineraries, they are round trip uh, from Baltra, which is in the Galapagos Islands. So there are no days at sea you're exclusively seeing the islands. We also send a naturalist on board the ship with you as well. So there is a person right there with you, guiding you every step of the way so that you're surely not to miss any um, unique flora or fauna that is a part of this destination as well. Um, the pre and post stay options are really fantastic as well. We uh, feature stays at the Quito Marriott. Um, and then you're actually, so these packages are also all inclusive as well. And in the Galapagos, we offer um, shore excursions included as well. So you can choose from, we have about two or three per day, um, up to you if you want to participate, but no added cost for shore excursions in the Galapagos, which is really fantastic. Um, every sailing ensures that you see the blue-footed boobies. Those are kind of the iconic creature in the Galapagos and then the giant tortoises as well. So um, a really unique bucket list experience and totally luxury when it comes to sailing flora as well. We do have a couple other ships that sail Galapagos. We've got the Celebrity Expedition, uh, which is a smaller yacht. It's 48 passengers in total. And then the Celebrity Exploration, which is a 16 passenger catamaran. So I know um, some of you might've heard Nora and I talking about um, Thanksgiving plans uh, at the start of this call here, but oh my gosh, think about such a wonderful family gathering on your own exclusive catamaran in the Galapagos. That would be amazing, something to remember for sure. Another destination I really wanted to highlight here today is Norway. I think Norway is just such a beautiful area to explore. And I think cruising really presents some unique advantages to this destination as well. Um, so for example, this bottom right photo that you see here, that is Geiranger Fjord. You can see it's a beautiful steep fjord valleys and there is nothing like seeing it from a cruise ship. You really don't have a better vantage point anywhere else. 
it's wonderful to be in these misty valleys, uh, turning around the corner and then you come to the end to this beautiful Norwegian village um, just there for you to explore. I think beyond Guy Ranger, obviously there are a number of destinations within our Norwegian itineraries that are worth exploring. Bergen is a beautiful coastal city. Um, it's a wonderful place to shop around, see all these colorful um, uh, houses as well. And then of course, uh, it's a wonderful place to um, you know, really explore fishing culture. And if you're like me and you have some Scandinavian heritage, it's wonderful to connect with a destination that really showcases that heritage as well. Uh, Norway, I think, is a really fantastic destination, but it also can be a little bit costly. I don't know if uh, anyone listening has been to Scandinavia before, but um, you know, dining out can be quite expensive. So it's really actually nice to you know have your cruise ship right there in the port, um, easily accessible. You know, for your you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner plans, just to lighten the financial burden, so that you could spend that instead on maybe some beautiful sweaters or decor or gifts. Um, you know, the things that you would like to bring home from Norway as well. All right. And I know winter is fastly encroaching upon us here in Minnesota. So um, I just wanted to highlight, we've got a series of short Caribbean itineraries starting up mid January and through the end of February. These are four and five night sailings on the Celebrity Infinity. Um, they typically feature a stop or two in Mexico. So the itinerary that I've highlighted here is on February 22nd. It's Costa Maya and Cozumel. So a wonderful uh, way to experience some fun in the sun and not to mention some delicious Mexican food as well. Um, so unlike Norway, it actually is uh, more affordable to dine on land in Mexico as well. So it's fun to um, taste some authentic and local cuisine um, as well as explore all the things that make this area of Mexico really unique. So um, getting a feel for that Mayan heritage um, we've got the ruins at Tulum in the bottom right here. And then also there are a number of natural caves with stalactites. Those are the, um, the piers that come down from the top and they call these cenotes. So it's nice to go um, diving, you go underwater and then head into a cenote. And it's this beautiful cavernous area as well. Um, so Mexico, the food and the culture is fantastic, but it's worth getting out to have a little bit of warm sun on your skin in the winter time as well. So if you uh, need somewhere to go in the near future here, I would highly recommend a short Caribbean itinerary just to get you by through the winter. All right. And certainly we want to ensure that when we are ready to sail and get back into the water that we are doing so in the safest and healthiest way. Um, you know, we are making sure that we are overturning every rock, looking for every piece of information we can to ensure we're offering the safest experience and what could ultimately be the safest experience in travel when it comes to sailing with us. So what we've done is incorporate um, the opinions and expertise of doctors, scientists, and biologists to ensure that we are doing everything possible to uh, mitigate the spread of COVID on board our ship. So you can see um, this wonderful panel of experts that we have here. I do want to point out one of our very own, uh, we've got Dr. Olsterholm of the U of M. He is in the bottom series of bubbles the second one in from the left. He's got a blue shirt, brown jacket, gray hair. Um, and he is very, very knowledgeable when it comes to, uh, I don't know if you guys listen to NPR. I probably listen to too much NPR, but he's always on NPR talking about um, the virus and giving his expertise. So having his guidance and implementing our policies and procedures will be paramount. Um, we hope to announce these guidelines here shortly. Your wonderful agents at Travel Leaders will keep you updated as well, but rest assured your health and safety are the utmost important to us at Celebrity, and we're going to ensure that we are keeping you safe while we are sailing the world together as well. Another way that we are offering um, some 
cruise with confidence. Uh, you know, of course, ensuring your health and safety is is of the utmost importance, as I mentioned, but we want to make sure that we are giving you the confidence to make those plans and the maximum flexibility that we're able to as well. So our Cruise with Confidence program comes with every booking made by November 30th, and it offers you a couple of options if you decide, you know what, I'm just not comfortable sailing. And we get that and we totally understand. So with Cruise with Confidence, up to 48 hours prior to your departure, if you let us know that you'd like to cancel, no questions asked, we will give you 100% of the paid value in your in, as a future cruise credit. So you could spend that toward a future voyage down the road. You have uh, you can sail all the way through May 4th of 2022. So there's a lot of time to plan that next adventure if you ultimately feel like a near-term adventure is not right for you. Another really great option is lift and shift. So this will allow you to effectively pick up your booking from this year, shift it into next year, and that way you're maintaining the great rate that travel leaders book for you, as well as getting in those extra amenities that they're able to offer as well. We'll also put our best offer guarantee on your booking as well. What that means is whatever rate you book at, if for some reason pricing were to decrease, we would ensure that you are getting that best offer as well. All right. And right now we actually have just unveiled this brand new pricing structure, always included. Um, so we at Celebrity, uh, we are at the forefront of new luxury and we feel like it is the best vacation experience when you don't have the mental weight of concerning yourself with the cost of um, you know, whatever your bill might be at the end of the cruise. So starting November 17th, we are offering always included, which means at the base level price point, we're including drinks, Wi-Fi, and tips on your purchase. So again, a really nice way to shirk that mental weight of worrying about the cost of drinks. Um, maybe you need to connect back home for a moment or just brag a little bit about your fabulous trip too. And then stateroom gratuities are covered too. So it's very much an all-inclusive type of pricing as well. So um, again, that is effective November 17th. And that is for each and every sailing. So again, really wonderful opportunity to book here as well. And I would encourage you when you're ready to make your booking, contact our friends at Travel Leaders. They are knowledgeable experts when it comes to all things celebrity. Each and every agent has my card, a direct contact at celebrity. So if they have a question that you can't answer, uh, or if you've got a question they can't answer, they in turn are able to ask me and we can get you the information that you need quickly and effectively. Travel Leaders also has access to wonderful group rates. So it's better than published pricing. You're actually saving money booking with a travel agent. And sometimes those rates come with added amenities too. So be sure to check with Travel Leaders before you make your plans. They'll surely have the best price point for you. And with that, I, I know we went over quite a lot of information in a short period of time. Uh, are there any questions from the chat box, Nora? Well, I don't see any questions in the chat box yet, but I do want to open up the floor to anyone who has a question. Uh, feel free to type it in the chat and I will be the moderator. But while we're waiting for any questions to come in, I want to thank you, Alicia. Great presentation. I know I am so excited uh, to get back to cruising. And one of the things from the photos that I saw, you know, I've always thought of celebrity as being all about the food because every cruise that I've taken with Celebrity, the food has been amazing. But your new ships, the design, the architecture, like I just love the design, it's beautifully done. Thank you, Nora. Yeah, um, I completely agree with you about the dining experience on board. It is delicious, hands down, wherever you go, whether it's you know main dining, the buffet, a specialty restaurant, every meal is nicely done and just so amazing. Um, and yes, the design of the new ships is fantastic. Um, being on edge, it's like being in a very luxurious resort. It's got, you know, such an intimate feel and the, the public venues have such great spaciousness to them. You know, it's like you have your own city, so to speak, but in just the smallest and, and nicest way, it's a wonderful middle of the road. 
Wonderful, just wonderful. Well, I don't see any questions coming in in chat. I think you've done such a great job. No one has any questions, but I want you all to know um, that you will get an email uh, probably tomorrow with a copy of this recording if you want to share it with anyone. Um, Angela asked, you know, you mentioned a buffet, but I'm assuming with the new guidelines coming in, it's going to be a little bit of a different buffet, right? It, yeah, that's a great question, Angela. And to that effect, the buffet will be a little different. Um, not, it won't be different from a, a food standpoint, but from a serving standpoint. So what we're intending to do is have a service buffet. So instead of heading in as you typically would have done, grabbing a plate and serving yourself, we instead are going to have staff available to um, serve you instead. So um, that way we're eliminating that, you know, contact point with the spoons and, and whatnot. So great question. It's, it will be a little different, but you can still look forward to, you know, wonderful cuisine available around the clock. Well, and just sometimes looking at it um, makes you decide whether or not you're going to try that or the thing next to you. Um, Angela is also asking about the gym and the pool. What are the changes there for social distancing or will they be closed? Uh, so we are planning on having the pool open currently. Um, we, we will be enforcing social distancing on board. So what that means is we will um, probably remove, you know, pool chairs every so often, just putting a pair together, six feet, a pair together, six feet. Um, we'll have staff available to enforce social distancing. Um, the gym, that will be, you know, we'll probably close a couple of treadmills in between, you know, social distancing is going to be enforced throughout the ship. Um, indoor spaces, we are looking at uh, intermittent mask usage. So, um, as I said, I think we'll be announcing our protocols here soon. I would expect to possibly be wearing masks in the fitness center too, similar to what you would have to do here in Minnesota. Great question. Thank you, Angela. Well, if there are any other questions, you can always email us. You'll get an email tomorrow with a copy of this recording. And um, you can always email me and I'd be happy to get answers for you. Looks like Angela has one more question though. So go ahead. Yeah. We're here for you. So she's asking about Sea Dream had to go back to shore just yesterday. Yeah, I, I just heard that on the news today. I, I, you know, I don't think Alicia has much of a comment on another cruise line because, well, they're, they're not at all related. But um, that was the, the information is still coming out. I don't know that we have all of the facts on that one yet. Mm -hmm. um, but Alicia, I know your protocols haven't been um, fully announced yet. Do you know what would happen if there were to be a case? Yeah, uh, great question. So um, if there were to be a case, part of our protocols is also developing a contingency plan. Um, and what that means is if there were to be someone um, who tested positive on board, what would happen? Um, we are increasing staffing as well as um, the size of our onboard medical unit so that we're able to quarantine any patients who, who might test positive right there in the ship. And then of course, getting them expeditious care is really important as well. So we, um, on our ship, we are adding ventilators and um, you know, other treatments that we have access to as well. Um, but if that person did require care off the ship, we are working closely with our destination partners to ensure we're able to get them off the ship to a nearby hospital and therefore the care that they need or getting them home expeditiously as well. And I think the reason that we have been really slow to announce our protocols and um, you know, really just taking such a cautious approach is that we, we don't want to be in the boat that Sea Dream is in at this moment. Um, you know, we want to make sure we're doing this the right way, getting it 100% correct the first time around so that we don't have any cases on board. Well said, Alicia, well said. And as Angela said, no one wants to get stuck on a ship for a month. And, no. Um, 
you know, I think everyone's understanding of COVID and how it spreads has changed since uh, since everything happened uh, last March. Um, Jim did ask about the entertainment venues. Um, how how will those be different? Uh, entertainment venues, so social distancing, once again, name of the game, we are going to be marketing off um, chairs, you know, so that we're able to socially distance within the theater um, or in the smaller venues that we offer as well. Um, I think it would be reasonable to expect intermittent mask usage as well if it's an enclosed space. If it's open air, um, you know, the element of the continuous fresh air and, and better um, ventilation kind of we're hoping lets us um, skirt that and, you know, masks can be worn if necessary or um, not at all if, if we feel like it's safe enough. That is a piece that we are trying to make sure that we do 100% correct. So um, that will come out in more certainty once we do announce those protocols. Excellent. Great questions, everyone. For really sure. appreciate everyone um, jumping in. Um, shore excursions, um, how are they going to be different? Oh, great question there too. Shore excursions, um, you know, because we want to make sure we're keeping the ship free of COVID. Um, you know, we're going to be introducing a bubble experience to start with. So, um, you know, what that means is from a shore excursion standpoint, we're looking at working with select providers who've passed our protocols um, to ensure that they're keeping you safe and healthy ashore. And, um, you know, certainly we want to also offer our destination partners the security that we are not, um, you know, bringing COVID to them either. So it kind of goes both ways. It will vary in each destination, just depending on that destination's um, stance with COVID, their current outbreaks as well, if they have any, um, you know, it's all going to be very fluid, but right now that's a solution that we're looking at right now that will be also announced as part of our protocols announcement. Great. Again, great questions. For sure. Well, I love it. Thank you guys for, um, you know, listening to all this. And um, I know with the here and now, it's a lot of, uh, you know, different things going on, but uh, appreciate all the questions. And I'm glad that you guys are, um, you know, thinking about your health and safety and just know that we hold that so near and dear as well. So we are going to do it right the first time when we are ready to sail. Well, thank you, Alicia. If there are more questions, uh, feel free to respond to the uh, email you got with the link for the, the presentation today and um, we'll definitely get back to you. Um, so thank you again, Alicia. Have a wonderful afternoon and holidays if I don't talk to you before. Yes, same to you, Nora, and thank right. you everybody. Take care and stay well. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye now.